Okay, so this is our screencast to show how to find the velocity from a position time graph using the two interval method. Uh, so we know the basics of the procedure for this method. I want to show you a quick way how to make a formula for this in Excel. Now, because we have to use the two times surrounding the time where we want to find the velocity, we're not going to be able to find a velocity for the first time. So we're going to start here at 0.4 seconds. I'm going to put an equal sign, which tells Excel that I'm going to be writing a formula. And the first thing I'm going to do is find the change in position. So I'm going to reference B5 and subtract B3, giving me the change in position from that for that 0.4 second interval. And then I'm going to divide by the change in time, which will be the 0.6. Now, of course, I have forgotten to put in my parentheses to make sure that Excel knows the order of operations. So I'll find my change in time. Now, the cool trick here is that I can copy this to all the cells below. I can do a simple copy and paste. But Excel has this ma little magic black box here on the bottom right hand corner. I can grab that and drag it down and it will copy the formula and change the references so that you can see here referencing B11 and B9 and A11 and A9.